Hello YouTube, long time no see. If you have been wondering if you could use an EasyCap 284 to capture HDMI outputs from your cameras and then directly input it into your computer, my answer is yes, you can do it. And I'm going to walk you through a very quick run through of how to do it. Plug the USB cable into the box, plug the HDMI cable into your camera and then plug the other end into the box. After that, look for the driver, download it and then select the easy box in your favorite recording tool. For example, OBS. There you are. Too fast? Well, I'm going to show you in detail now. All right, guys. So the essential items that you need are as below. First, of course, it's your EasyCap 284 capture video capture box. The second is, of course, a camera with HDMI out. So in my case, it is actually my trusty Sony X3000. And two very important cables. One is actually the USB cable that comes with your capture box. And the other one is actually the HDMI cable that can actually connect to your camera. Okay, so first thing first. Very important thing is, you need to make sure that you are actually connecting the connector correctly to the correct port. A lot of people, I think they make mistakes by connecting to the big port, but actually what you need to do is that you actually need to connect to this small port. So this is very important. So first, of course, is to connect this here. And then when this is done, the, sec the, the other thing is to make sure that you actually connect your HDMI cable correctly into the HDMI out of your camera. So what I, what I do here is that I connect this into my camera. So once this is done, the other end of your HDMI cable, you just need to connect it to, there's actually a HDMI out if you see carefully there's a HDMI out and there's a HDMI in here. So you need to make sure that you actually plug it in to the HDMI in here. So you just plug it in here. So that's all actually you need to plug in. So that, that's, how, that's how it will look like. And of course, if you're actually recording with your PC, you might want to actually have a tripod handy. So this is actually what we have. So let's move on to the PC. After that, we are going to plug our USB cable into the computer. So after we plug it in, so this is actually what you will see. You will see that actually here, there's an easy cap and it says that it is actually an unrecognized device. So what you need to do next is to go to download the easy cap driver from the website. So we have finished downloaded it. So here is the driver. What you need to do is you just unzip it and then try to install the driver so as you can see there's actually an exe here after we have un unzip it there's an exe here you could just double click it and, then and you will see this dialog box you just continue and click next and then wait for it to finish installing after you see that it has it has finished installing when you go back to your device manager, you will see a device manager actually becomes an easy cap device. So in other words, this, your installation is already correct. And now what we need to do next is to go to our OBS to see how do we set it up to make sure that it could actually capture the camera correctly. Once the driver has been installed, what you need to do next is to click on the video capture device and then create the existing one and then try and actually get one of this. So once this is done, you just click OK, and then voila. So we have here already, as you can see, you can see me using OBS to actually record my OBS, and that is it. So as you can see, this is actually quite smooth and so on. So if you are, if you are interested, I could actually record a video for you to see, but I think it's quite, quite clear that it works. But do remember that there is a case that 
sometimes it might not detect so you might just need to try a little bit so plug it in plug it off plug it in plug it off and to make it work but once you get the driver installed most of the time it should be okay it might be just a loose usb port that's all so i'll see you that's all for today's video if you have any questions or any video ideas feel free to comment below and of course then remember to subscribe so that you could get more videos like this until next time see ya